Hey guys, um, so my last couple of videos I did um, absolutely critical workouts to you know, improve your 5K and then I did a video on how to improve your 10, 10K with some critical workouts and uh, today I want to uh, shift the focus a little bit. I was going to continue going up to the half marathon and the marathon which I'm going to do but I also wanted to incorporate a, a video on the 1500 uh, and the mile. It's this absolute you know, five critical or absolutely fantastic workouts that you could do to run your very best 1500 or mile or have your athletes run their best. Um, and then these are workouts you may not have seen. Um, and I'm going to take you over to the whiteboard shortly so you can take a look. But keep in mind the importance of you know, the aerobic foundation, you know, and the importance of training at a multi-pace training system, meaning if you're training for the mile, it's also important to be doing work at 3K pace, <clears throat> 5K pace, even above that, let's say 10K pace, which is more threshold tempo type stuff, and then shifting downward to the 800 and 400 meters. So you're addressing the speed component, okay, speed endurance, threshold aerobic development, and your, and your capacity to handle harder work and longer work. They're all important pieces of a 1500 uh, meter runner. So it's a, a solid aerobic foundation. And, you'll, and I'll send you, I'll put some videos in the description down below of you know 800 meter training, mile training, two mile training, 5k training, so you can see the similarities between the two. Because I, I in all my uh, programs I have multi pace training systems. Because what it does is it sets you up long term for success, as well as short term too. And you never know what type of race you're going to be in. So if you're in sometimes 1500 meter races, know that the people around them or an athlete in the 1500 knows that some of the guys around them have very, very good finishing speed. Well, that's, you know, it's, it's a, an opportunity then to you know, perhaps either start and run hard from the gun or make a move in the middle of the race and take the kick out of some of those guys. So it, you never really know, but it's important to be prepared for any type of race scenario, which is why certain workouts, whether they get progressively faster, you're on a certain part here, a certain part there, are all important ingredients so that you're ready for any type of scenario when it comes down to it, particularly at the high school and college level, you never really know. You know, sometimes people kick from 800 meters out. It happens. Sometimes people wait for the 100 meters, 100 meters to go to kick. But at that point, uh, training, doing the right things to get yourself to the point where you're uh, competing with the top guys and top gals is important. So I can't emphasize that enough. So let me take you over here now. I want to show you some, and on, I'll go over some details with it as well take you over here you'll see the whiteboard oh let's get that glare out of there boom there we go all right make sure we can see it all I'll even put it up here elevate it a little bit okay up top you'll just see do these 1500 mile workouts but I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit so you see the whole thing and I'll move it down if I need to okay so the first one 800 meters 600 meters 400 meters, 300 meters. And again, not every workout needs to be long, okay? Um, keep that in mind as well. I'm giving you two different options here. So the eight, six, four, three. Okay, the 800 and 600 will generally be at, you know, let's say 800 is at your current mile pace, 600 is at your goal mile pace, then the 400 and 300 are faster than your goal mile pace, okay? A approaching 800 meter pace, but if you can, for the 300 meters. And then afterward, you do four by 150 meter top end sprints, okay? With a walk or jog equal recovery, so you're walking or jogging 150 meters, and then going again. So again, the workout is not high volume, but it's a good workout. Let's say you're 10 days out from opening a season or uh, from a key race. Great workout to do. Okay. Um, next one, 600, 500, 400, 300, with a two-minute recovery, all at your goal mile pace or slightly faster as you get shorter, and then in the back end, four times a 200 with a one-minute recovery approaching your 800 meter pace current 800 meter pace or progressing from current to goal depending on how fit you are depending on how fit your athletes are experience age and so on okay that's workout one this is a good race pace workout number two i call these descending 800s let's just say uh you're trying to run a five minute mile okay so the three times an 800 okay and then afterward, you're going to do so you do three times 800 with a three minute recovery. It's going to be at your mile pace, but there's a little caveat there. And then you, on the back end, you do three times a 300 meters with a jog week or recovery, a jog 300 meter recovery, progressing from goal mile pace down to potentially 800 meter pace if you can. Okay, but let's say the 800. So let's say you're looking to run five minutes. So that's a 230 average. The first one you start at, at 230 plus two seconds, so 232. 
two seconds slower than goal pace. Then the next one's at goal pace, 230. And then the last one is two, two seconds faster, okay, 228. Okay, now this is a workout you could repeat, so let's say, every three, every three, every four weeks. But now, next time you start two seconds faster, you so you start at 230, then you go 228 and 226. After that, you start at 228, 226, 224. So you're continuing to drop two seconds, but every time you do the workout, you start two seconds faster than you did last time. Okay, and 800 meter efforts are very, very good test efforts for your ability to, your, your fitness, or how close you are to running what you want to run in the mile. And if you can do three of them in a descending manner like that, that's a good thing. And, and some of the more fitter, older, more experienced athletes might be able to do four of them, but if you can do three, that's a really good thing, okay? And then on the back end, you do 300 meter reps from progressing from goal mile down to 800 meter pace with a 300 meter jog recovery. Again, not a, not a huge workout, but a very, very, very good race specific one. These are good workouts. Again, they're repeatable workouts, so you could start them early season and then progress. You could do them every three weeks, every four weeks. So, and it's a great way of telling you and showing your progress in your fitness. And again, let, you know, these are just very gradual increases in, in uh, training intensity. So any drastic one should be backed up by race performances or time trials. So, and I say this a lot in my video, uh, it's important to not increase training volume and intensity at the same time, okay? Only one at a time. If you're gonna increase training intensity significantly, it's important to let a race back it up and let you know that you're ready to in, uh, handle faster paces and workouts. Absolutely critical, okay? So that's two. Number three, this is this is this should be a staple. Uh, tempo running or threshold running, okay? Or kind of fulcrum type running. A four mile tempo run, okay? Or building towards four miles and not exceeding 25 minutes continuously at your appropriate tempo paces based on your current mile fitness, okay? And if you don't know what that those paces are, I'm gonna put a video down below, two videos. One mile time trial, which tells you how fit you are, and then how to set the right paces based on what you run for that time trial, okay? Watch them from beginning to end if you haven't yet done so. Very, very important. It'll give you a lot of info and help you set up the right training paces for yourself or for your athletes. And not everybody's gonna be training at the right, at the same paces, and they sh nor should they. Okay, and it's very, very important to keep people progressing along the way. So a four mile continuous tempo run or six times a thousand meters building towards that, okay? Um, so you eventually build towards that. And uh, also a repeatable workout with a three minute recovery at 5K pace, okay? Either at current 5K pace or progressing from current to goal 5K pace, okay? Um, another good mile strength workout. And then on the back end, you add three times a 200 with a 200 meter jog recovery at 800 meter pace, teaching you how to turn over when you're already fatigued, which simulates the back end of a mile race, okay? So again, a four mile tempo or thousand meter repeats with a three minute recovery, backed up by three by 200 meters at 800 meter pace, okay? Number four, two options. Option one, five times 500 meters with a 90 second recovery, again, at current, or current progressing from current to goal, 1500 meter pace or four times 600 meters. The same thing with a two minute recovery progressing from current to goal mile pace or 1500 meter pace. These are good workouts too. They're odd distances, but you also get familiar with, you know, you might be you might be at the point now where you can kick from 500 meters out or kick from 600 meters out. Because a lot of mile races kind of go back. I mean, some guys will start driving with a quarter mile to go and it's a, a long sustained drive. This kind of prepares you for things like that, okay? And then last but not least, I'll move it down a little bit, as you can see it, okay? 400 meter reps, okay? I'm gonna give you two options here too. Um, eight times a 400 is the goal, number that you wanna build towards. With a 90 second recovery, okay? You go from current to your goal, 1500 meter pace. Now, a couple different options. This is a repeatable workout too, and I like to do this workout three times throughout the season. Your first time you do it at 90 second recovery, the next time you do it at 75 second recovery, the last time at 60 second recovery. If you can do that, it's a really good sign of progression towards where you want to be for the mile. For your less experienced athletes or your younger athletes, okay, uh, who's, or maybe your uh, middle disc, like your, your half milers who want to move up eventually, here's option B. You break it up into two sets, two sets of four times 400, okay? Not everybody's going to be able to do four, eight consecutively or build towards that. Some people need two sets. That's fine, okay? That shows the progression. Same 90 second recovery, and then you take four minutes in between, the, in between the sets, so four minutes after the fourth rep, and then you go back to 90 second recovery. The same repeatable workout, so next time you do it, 
75 second recovery, but with the same four minutes in between the set, and then the third time, 60 second recovery, with the same four minutes in between the set, okay? That's the progression, okay? Um, again, you can start with two sets and build towards one set of eight consecutively. It's completely up to you, it's up to the fitness of your athletes and the ability to handle that type of work. But if you could do eight times 400, okay, at that pace, you're gonna be you're gonna be in good shape. Um, your athlete's gonna be in good shape. So these are five really, really, really great workouts, or I mean, I mean actually six or seven of them really, really great workouts that you could utilize to really, really take the 1500 meter performance of yourself or your athletes to them to another level. Again, repeatable workouts. Let me know what you think, um, and you know how how you would incorporate it into your training plan. And if you want to see a fully detailed training plan, take a look down below. I'll put a few in there so just so you could like take a look at them. You could follow. I've used all my programs on my athletes, middle distance all the way up to distance runners with a lot of success over the last two decades as a coach. I've competed at all three levels. I'm also a USATF certified coach for those of you who don't know me. And um, so again, these workouts are all things that I've used repeatedly for athletes um, and uh, with a lot of success on the, on the male and female side. So hope you found it helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Please hit that subscribe button if you really want good, uh, a lot of good running content. Take a look. I've got almost 200 training videos of all different types, from half mile all the way up to the marathon, fully detailed. So, and I would recommend this if you're going to watch any of my videos, watch them from beginning to end, because I, especially a training program one, because I explain everything and I break it down for you, and I don't want you to miss important details along the way. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have a great week, okay? Great year, great season. Talk to you next time.